So with everything going on with the likes of Amazon and Fire Sticks blocking certain streaming apps, and we know it's not really because they're streaming apps, it's because of the malware within them, I'm going to show you how you can check your applications for malware all in this one video. Before we get started, though, to stay up to date with all these sort of things going on, make sure you hit that follow button. And obviously, if you are on your Fire TV device, you should be using a VPN to protect yourself against any of this sort of content and protect yourself online as well. So get yourself a VPN. It is linked in the description underneath, or you can just comment underneath and I'll send you the link as well. OK, so today we are talking about an app called Death Squid, and you can get Death Squid by going to the magnifying glass, nice and easy, and just type in D E F squid. Okay, Def squid. You can click it and install it. Def squid is free and easy to use. Android optimizer. This app helps users clean memory, delete junk files, and detect malware. Okay, so it doesn't just have to be used on a Fire TV stick. You should be using this on any streaming device because Although Amazon are blocking these ones with malware and doesn't mean all your others are. If you've turned the likes of Google Play Protect off, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to some of these apps. So once you've got it installed, mine's on my home screen. If you can't see it, it'd be in your apps. So you go to the three squares and the plus, go to my apps and you will find it in here. That is the logo for it. You can click it and open it up. And there's a few different things you can do in here anyway. But first of all, let's get on with the malware part, OK? So you can do a malware scan. Um, it will look for your installed apps, or you can start a deep scan, which will go through deep scanning all your apps. We will let that finish and see what it finds for us. Um, sometimes you get false positives, and sometimes normally fine. You know, you've got you're probably harmless there. We've got 26, and we've got probably malicious four. So these are ones you need to take a look at, but not always it's as simple as it seems. So let's see what's flagged up. So we've got downloader, which we know um, is my head in the way. Wait there. Stop there for a minute. We've got downloader, which we know is installed from the Amazon App Store. It's always going to flag slightly malicious because it accesses um, the, the outside Internet, whereas and it has its own adverts in it. Pac-Man is a game off the fire stick. I don't play it. There's no reason I can't just uninstall that one. So I'll just get rid of that one. Channel 5 is a shocker because that comes from the App Store. One malicious pattern detected. So nothing flagging up, just a malicious pattern. Um, I'll dismiss that one. Trace Vanish, three malicious patterns detected. This is a bit interesting because Trace Vanish is a sort of app cleaning app. So you can either uninstall or dismiss. And Downloader, one malicious pattern, which will be where it accesses the internet. So your options there are you can either remove them all or you can look a bit more into it. You could download the application separately, take them online to the likes of Virus Total, but I have no issue with Downloader. Um, Channel 5 app comes directly from the App Store. Trace Vanish is one I will probably get rid of. So, apart from that, that is the best way to scan your device. Don't take it as gospel. Have a look at it, see if it's doing you any harm, and check what it's saying is the issue with that app itself, okay? You can also, on here, you've got Booster which are booster device, you've got speed test and privacy test, okay? So booster, start boosting device, allow. Okay, we've got that one on, that's allowed. It needs all of it, I believe. There we go. Do you want to delete old APK files? Yes, so that will give us some space. So that's getting rid of the junk remover. So that would be like the install files. When you download an application, that install file is still left there. Sometimes they can be in um, downloader files section or some. It depends how you download them. It's optimizing the RAM, cleaning it all out, and that would be done for us as well. And device, improve system resources. So we get that done as well just to help it run a little bit better. Okay, so that's completed. Brilliant. So hopefully that will be a helpful one. You can check out your apps. This might help you find the versions of the apps which do work and which don't. Um, what I would suggest, again, if you aren't sure what I'm talking about, if you check out some of our latest videos where apps have been blocked, they're all on my channel. And for anybody who did want that VPN to stay safe online, it's linked underneath. We've got an exclusive offer with you. Um, and it also comes now with an eSIM data gift as well. So you can get that all included for the one price and it'll work on unlimited devices. That is all linked underneath for you. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Swiffy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.